7 News is on your side asking Prince William County Public Schools why they removed a speech pathologist from their list of providers. The doctor tells us this decision could mean some students won't get the services they need. 7 News Christian Flores spoke with that professional about his concerns new tonight. I don't side with parents, I side with the student. Despite this assertion, speech language pathologist Dr. Jay Locker found himself blindsided after 7 News on your side obtained this email indicating he had been taken off Prince William County Public Schools list of providers because he quote typically sides with the parents. And the school district doesn't like what I'm saying because I don't agree with everything they say. I look at the facts and indicate what do the facts evidence. What does that evidence tell me about the individual student that I've done an evaluation on? What does the student need? And what are the things we can do to help the student accommodations? When you say that, you know, some of your findings aren't what the school district agree with, what does that mean? They very often do informal observational measures of pragmatic communication with no formal tests. But I do a formal evaluation. One parent who's gone to Dr. Lucker tells 7 News this decision is baffling. In my experience with Dr. Lucker, he does not side with parents. He doesn't side with schools. He sides with data. 7 News on your side asked the school system several questions, including why Dr. Lucker was removed from the list. A spokesperson responded, only saying, quote, we have continued to use Dr. Lucker as an independent educational evaluation provider when requested by a parent. The list that the school is giving are either the only speech language pathologists in the area who will do these evaluations, or the parent may not know where to look or what, you know, or who to look for. Parents of Dr. Lucker say the student ultimately suffers. To see his name omitted from that list, I think is depriving um, children and families within the county. The danger is what they're basically saying in that is that unless you find someone to do evaluations who are gonna agree with us and do what we, the school want, it's no longer independent, even though it's called an independent educational evaluation. Christian Flores, 7 News.